whatever time it is, afternoon, morning, wherever you are, numerous, and hey, it can be. Um, I'm going to tell my new friends that I do this today. <sighs> oh, well. Anyway, Kim, you'll just have to tell everybody that this is my craft room and that there is knitting up there. 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 And that we recently had a guest sleeping there. And that my fabric is still not taken care of there. It's really hard. Anyway, hello everybody. Um, in case you don't know, my name is Jen and I am a five week, three day numer. Drinking water with a tip of apple cider. Anyway. Kim already knows me. She's my friend. And she watches another couple podcasts that I do. And she's from America. And I'm from America, but I live in England. So, I think that's enough of introduction. Um, so, Kim already knows this, but I'll tell everybody in case you don't read what I asked to post. <laughs> New is that, oh, I'm not 100 pounds overweight anymore. I'm 96 pounds overweight, which isn't anything to brag about, but it's better than being over 100 pounds overweight. So yay me. Um, I don't know if everybody's done their thing yet, so spoiler alert. But today was all about um, play. No, it wasn't. Fart. It was all about, sorry for the French. I don't know if I should cut that out, but I probably won't, so sorry. It was all about uh, moving more and H I I T which is high intensity intensity interval training now I've already emailed Kim about this but I just want to tell everybody what was going on with that for me they kind of suggested three bits so my friend Kim has hey Kim, again. Um, you know has sort of pointed out that there's different walks to do and one is Leslie's is it Sansoni Sintoni. Anyway, she does these mile walks that are like sort of low impact. And I have done one in the past and it was the one mile happy walk. And that takes about 15 minutes. So if 15 minutes is all you got, there you go. It's really good. She's really good. She's a really nice lady. She's more my age. She's not really young. She's like my age, which is, I got, I'm even getting past middle age, I think. It's 53 past middle age. There's a thought. Anyway, so when I got to the last part of the, you know, move a bit more to sort of get things going, um, they had this, they had these four, three suggestions about uh, interval training. So tomorrow, because I can't do it today because we have sort of a family thing going on, I have to go to my in-laws. Um, I'm going to do the first one, which is 15 minutes of walking really, walking regular pace for, I think it was two minutes, and then 30 seconds of really, really, really fast, sort of speed walking, running, whatever, and then back down to regular walking, and then back up and back on, and just keep doing that for 15 minutes. So that's where I'm going to start, basically because I'm so overweight, I probably have a coronary, and given my husband doesn't usually get home from work until about 6.30, um, I would be dead on the floor for most of the day, and like nobody wants to smell that. So oh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so serious stuff now. Right, so I didn't, I didn't have a slip, but... After I had my lunch today, not after I had my breakfast, but after my lunch, I just struggled with wanting to go eat more. Like, inside, sorry, my husband's emailed me asking me if I have enough fruit and do I have enough ice for my knee, which I boogered. Anyway, getting back to this, so I was struggling. I mean, it was really, really bad. Like, it was a battle in my mind. 
And I got some really good advice from Kim about sort of sorting that out. And so instead of struggling with the argument, I just let the argument happen. I let it continue. I didn't think, oh, for crying out loud, just go do it because you know you're going to anyway. Or, you know, started bawling my eyes out, which I normally do. I just let the argument happen in my head between, I don't know, like Sybil. <laughs> anyway, it was bad. I mean, it was the worst I've had it since I started this. So, you know, it kind of, it kind of fell in line with the first task of the morning, which was you've been doing this for five weeks and whatever now and so now you're really struggling it's really hard to um continue with it because the honeymoon's over and you know you're all not like gung ho for it and kim said to me as well you know you didn't put it on overnight you're not gonna take it off overnight so An addendum to that is, for me, small goals. So I am going to set myself a goal that I want to reach by next Friday. And I'm going to make that goal happen. So it's going to be little celebrations for me every two weeks. Another thing that I'm going to do, and this is just an experiment, is on my Noom, I'm going to put what I weighed today, every day, until next Friday. Um, what did that, what did they call it? They called it taking a break from the scales, or a vacation from the scales. So, I'm going to do that right now. I know I am early doors, and it's, you know, I'm basically a Noom baby, but I'm going to do that. Because the way I look at it is, I have 11 weeks left with my specialist coach, and I want to make the best of that that I can. So I'm going to tell her Friday that I'm doing this and what I expect to achieve from it and we'll see what she has to say. If it, she thinks it's too early to start doing that or whatever. So yeah, so I think I'll go back to that struggle. Let's just step back for a minute. So what happens in my mind when I'm having that struggle is you get that, oh God, that hangry feeling. You're not hungry, but your brain says you're hungry, right? And I don't know if my brain just said, you need to chew more or whatever. And by all rights, I could have gone to the refrigerator and I could have gotten some watermelon. I could have gotten an orange. I could have gotten some strawberries. I could have had more lettuce. I could have done whatever I wanted, really. But that isn't part of my lunch plan. And from my perspective, if I cave into that feeling every single time I have it, then I'm not really making any progress, whether I'm eating something healthy or I'm eating something bad for me. If I cave into that false hunger, that false need, then I'm not making progress. There's no progress being made, even if I lose weight there's still no progress being made as far as I'm concerned. I'm sort of a, there's no gray area, it's all or nothing sort of person, which is why this is so hard for me because quitting smoking, I didn't have to have half a cigarette, right? But I have to eat three meals a day. By the way, just a little something in case any of you feel this way too. I hate breakfast. I, I hate breakfast and I have to force myself I have to force myself to eat it as much as I have to force myself right now, which I hope will change, to work out even three days a week. I have to make myself because it seems more like work than, and this is breakfast too, not just the working out, but it seems more like work than something I'm doing for myself. And I don't know how to change that mindset. So if you've got anything to say about that, comment below if you can help. Um, on a positive note, my grandson has gone back to his mom and dad, and so now 
I'm getting back into my own routine. Um, yeah, so yesterday and today were total cleaning house thingy doings ish. And tomorrow out, sorry, itch. Tomorrow is a, um, it is a podcast day for me, so I will be doing my knitting podcast tomorrow. Knitting, I should say, podcast tomorrow. And probably doing a bit of sewing for my Etsy shop. And then Thursday is a day, full day of sewing for me. And then Friday we have familial things that we need to take care of for Ian's parents. Yeah, so there you go. Past that Saturday, um, we have some stressful familial things going on. This stuff for today and tomorrow and Friday is happy stuff. Saturday, not so happy, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't affect my stuff that I have going on right now. Um, yeah, so, anyway. Yeah, I guess that's it. This is a really short one. It's 11 minutes. Anyway, I want to thank Kim for the great pictures of her cats. She adopts feral cats, which is amazing. And she built this fountain out of a galvanized tin and put it on top of this rack and then put them a really lovely geranium underneath. So if you're doing anything like that and you want to email me pictures, please do. Or if you adopt feral cats, you can email me them too or whatever you have going on. And if you have a specific, in line with Zoom, if you have a specific um, exercise routine or anything new that you're doing that seems to be working for you, please let us all know in the comments below. I guess that's it. I do this podcast every day, by the way. So if you're going to be a regular, you might guess it can be. Sometimes I can be really silly. And other times I can be like totally distracted and say one thing and then go completely off on a tangent into something else. But that's just me. Anyway, right, I am going to get going. Um, thanks again, Kim, for all of your lovely advice and for the pictures. They were really, really nice. And I will put some pictures um, of my garden on tomorrow's video because hopefully it'll be sunny and not raining all day. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Kim. Love ya. Bye.